Daniel Green, an internationally acclaimed chef and TV home shopping powerhouse. Yes. Food Fortunes. Healthy dining expert and international celebrity chef, Daniel Green. I got to jump in there because that's very exciting to me. That's my background. All of this, I never would have imagined. Like I would imagine, maybe the show. I never would imagine making a dessert from bruschetta. No, I mean, I, no, would I. But then when your producer said we need to do one because we need to Americanize it, I thought, well, I, what can I do? So I actually wouldn't have thought of that either, Jason. <laughs> this is every bit of passion that my career has followed. I'm on my 11th cookbook on healthy eating. I believe it starts with breakfast. You should eat like a king for breakfast, a prince for lunch, and a pauper for dinner. Unfortunately, it's cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a reason for that. There is a reason. There's a reason why. You don't have an oven. Oh, we don't have an oven. <laughs> <laughs> It's called Food Fortunes. Okay. It's really fun. It's like a Shark Tank idea all based on food. Mm -hmm. And we've been seeing lots of different pictures and there's three companies that I'm hopefully getting involved with. There wasn't much out there to inspire me. I was, I was like a teenager and I was kind of, maybe it was a bit older than that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've always loved food and I can never miss a meal. And that's what my inspiration was to go down this path about creating healthy recipes. That's maybe not the prep time of cutting the onions. You know, luckily um, everyone here was so helpful. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, okay. The lady in the audience saw me take that out of a Tupperware bag, a packet that was already pre-made. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. Just written your 12th cookbook. Yep. 12. It's pale at 12. Can you believe it? Wow. Uh, it's called Paleo. Over a long time. So he doesn't need the 25. <laughs> <laughs> out. My first Ooh. advance was very small. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniel Green. I'm making for everyone a really quick, easy tuna sashimi tartare with a little bit of avocado. I've got some ahi grade tuna, which is absolutely gorgeous and it's gonna just melt in your mouth. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of chili, some shallots, some coriander, avocado, mix that up, a little bit of soy and sesame, and you've got yourself a brilliant starter. Just what you need in a hot Bangkok day when it's bursting with heat and you wanna have something that's got flavor, and there you've got a two-minute dish that's healthy, low in fat, and a fabulous appetizer, tuna tartar. You've got a hundred percent on our consumer audience that they would buy your product, so you must feel great about that. And I think we can all agree, it's quite a unique way of having a shot of vodka. <laughs> We have a consumer audience here that help us get a gauge on if a product is going to be bought. But th this is a little bit tricky because a lot of you may not have kids. So when you vote, I'd like you to think of this. If you have kids, brilliant. Would you or would you not buy this product? But the other aspects, if you haven't got kids, maybe think, would you have loved this? Would you have liked to have done this with your mum or dad? So please vote now. We may be tough on you today because you brought no food. Where's the food? We need to uh, butter us up a little bit. I think most people like sugar, most people like fat, and most people like brownies, so I'm do, not surprised. Do you, Daniel? I do when they're fat-free, carb-free, and sugar-free. <laughs> Action to that is, there is more than enough sugar in here to keep me pumped up <laughs> for the entire day. I don't need any caffeine on top of it. Well, this is just the British in me, but a bit disappointing because there's no alcohol in it. <laughs> <laughs> Invested everything in this, and I know this is certainly a category that has a huge growth. I think we're all getting to understand the education of what's in our food. But I'm going to be really honest, I don't think I would be the person to really be able to assist you to go to the next level. So for that reason, I will not bring you to the negotiation table. Daniel, how, how do we do this? Do we just go pinky up like this? Or I would, if you want to be very British, I would. <laughs> Rather than going through your guys' resumes right now, can we get through the budget again? Just to clarify, that wasn't the resume. The resume is in 87 million homes over 10 years. That's the resume. <laughs> it was cooked to perfection. The lightness of how it was fried, I think, was fantastic. Just found it more of a corn dog than the elaborate title you gave it. So the chef's challenge was to make Make a bouillabaisse in 45 minutes, and as usual, we don't know what chef cooked what. So dish one, it's a classic bouillabaisse with halibut en croute with an uni roasted red pepper rue. Chef number two prepared a journey of bouillabaisse from modern to classic. Start out with an inside out bouillabaisse with a Santa Barbara prawn. Then we go to the fennel pano uni and shellfish foam. And then we end with that final classic Marseille Bula base. I thought it was deliciously fresh. I haven't had anything quite like it. 
how many different pictures did you have to try before you got one that they liked? I mean, is it like a huge photo shoot, or is it just like, oh, hey, we'll take a quick, quick in, snap? In today's world of airbrushing, they can just oh, do I the one. I, I mean, that, that, I, that, I, mean that. You, I mean, those teeth aren't even like. <laughs> you know, Miss Paula D, to have you on the network on Evine Live is so exciting. We are blessed to have you here. We I'm love blessed. everything about you've created. Is about the family coming to the kitchen. Yes. It's about creating those moments. This ham is something yes. that it will be that Easter that everyone is going to be at your house. And they'll say, that was a Paula Dean ham. <laughs> that was a special. I want to go back to that year. Yes. I want to go back to that yes. time. I should have sprayed that back for you. Then we should have sprayed that side. You didn't spray it. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. I was too, I was too excited to hear I will think everything. about the pants down spanking I'll give you <laughs> later. <laughs>